Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Day number two of footies is in the books. I want to take a look at a couple things in the game that happened today. I want to look at the SBCs that came out. I want to talk about foot swap. And of course, uh, we're going to be looking at some footbin stuff because there are some pr crazy prices on the market right now, especially in one particular area that I want to talk about. About. Now we're heading into another um, weekend of weekend leagues. So there's going to be a lot of people playing the game probably since they saw rewards today. I saw some really good rewards. I saw some really bad rewards, but those rewards are going to stay the same with the TOTS player packs and the TOTS picks still in the uh, the gold and higher. Whenever you get a player pick, it's going to be team of the season players. Mine today, I got Allison in the uh, right wing from the EFL. So mine were pretty poor from gold three, which kind of is unfortunate. But um, I want to talk about first the content that came out today. We got a, the flashback David Louise SBC re-released. Um, I think it's about 150,000 coins to complete. Now I was not somebody who had did, done this SBC previously. I'm probably going to do it now just because I can craft it very easily. If they do bring out upgrade packs on Friday, which I'm really hoping that they do, uh, or at least some point, I hope they bring out a repeatable upgrade pack. That would be awesome. That'd be fun, and we would be, we would be doing a ton of those packs um, if they do come out. So I'm hoping for those. That will help me complete David Louise. If you didn't do this one earlier, I think it's definitely worth a go. He's one of the most. I think he's for his value. He is an incredible center back in this game, and is very linkable with a lot of players. Uh, we also got today a new um, marquee matchups and a new footies voting day with the um, Renato Sanchez, Fred, and Party being the foot swap players that were voted on today. Those will come out on Saturday at 6 p.m. UK. Today, Friday at 6 p.m. UK, we are going to get our Lozano card. So I want to look at a few things in terms of that as well. But first... We got to look at foot swap, man. They dropped a big time foot swap this month. This is really cool that they did this. They made a lot of these pretty attainable. Thomas Monier, Jerome Boateng, footies items, an ultimate pack costs you five foot swap items. A mid icon gives you 10. But I think a lot of people might try to go for this Rashford and for this Davidson Sanchez because those cards both look mental. Um, so if you get one of these cards, GG to you. I might try to get the Dominson Sanchez uh, because that card looks really cool to me, uh, especially as a Spurs fan. I do really like that card. I hope they get dynamic images as well. Um, I don't think they've gotten dynamic images yet. I really hope that they do give them dynamic images. And obviously, uh, they are foot swap items. And we've had the foot swap items that have had dynamic images before, I believe. So hopefully they do get, uh, they do get some dynamic images. That's what I'm really hoping for with these. Uh, but look at this card for Rashford, man. Four-star weak foot, five-star skills. We looked at Rashford earlier on when we were looking at Footy's possible cards. Um, and oh my gosh, Thomas and Sanchez, ridiculous card, dude. Ridiculous card at a center back. Um, crazy, crazy stats. So I'm probably going to go for the Thomas and Sanchez. And hopefully I can get all of these uh, foot swaps pretty easily. I would expect that today, when the daily objectives reset Friday... In 15 hours from now, as you can see when I'm recording this, I do think that they will probably reset and there will be a couple foot swap items available through weekly objectives. Um, probably two or three of those, to be honest with you. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. But one thing that I did want to talk about in terms of the market today is while I was doing this Lothar Mateus SBC, I noticed something that is... <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous, boys. All right, take... A look at this. Informs on the market, 75 rated informs on Xbox, 27K, 30K, 30K for everything else higher than that, 30K, 30K, 36,000 coins for an 80 rated uh, inform, 32 for 81. 30, all these informs are 30K or above. Just to get an inform in your team, it's 30K. And it just wait, it gets better. 85s are 40K, 86s are 40K. 87s are 45 and 88s are 49k. So you can pay 48,000 coins for an 88 rated inform. You can pay 50k for an 89 rated Insigne, an 89 rated card, and at 30k, you get a 75 rated card or like a 78 or 79 for the plus 10 rating. Informs right now are just crazy, crazy out of whack. 
I do think that we might get a repeatable inform SBC sometime this weekend because other than that, these informs are ridiculously crazy on the market right now. They don't have any supply. If you have them in your club, get them out. I'm telling you, just get them out because this is something that I'm, I really think EA is going to start supplying these lower rated informs somehow, whether it be through a repeatable SBC. They didn't put many informs in packs, but people are still going to do SBCs. And uh, what do they require for David Luis today? Do they require a team of the season? They required a team of the week or a team of the season. So they're requiring team of the week players for uh, David Luis flashback card. When some of these cards for an, a 75 rated inform, you have to pay 30k. Crazy man. I think they're gonna supply these informs though. It, it's gonna happen here in the next day or so. If you if you want to do David Luiz or any SBC right now that requires informs, hold off on that. Unless you can get away with using a high rated inform. I just did a Lothar Mateus 84 uh, rated SBC and I bought two 87 rated informs and then I just filled in the rest of the team with like 82s and 83s, a couple 81s, because that was honestly one of the cheaper ways to do it. I know I because. It seems like I overpaid for that, but I really didn't because instead of buying a 79 or an 80 rated inform for 30K, I spent, uh, instead of spending 60K on those informs, I spent 80K to get the way higher rating and I just threw in some crap players. So yes, those SBCs are pretty expensive right now because some of those high rated informs are so high. So I probably overpaid a little bit for Lothar, but I'm, I'm grinding in, I'm crafting him, and I have two SBCs left, two really easy ones. So I wanted to mention that don't buy informs right now if you are doing SBCs because they are just ridiculously overpriced and I think EA has to resupply them at some point. This anyone's to watch pack, you've seen me do a couple of these. I'm probably not going to do any more if they release any sort of other, um, you know, any sort of other pack because these this SBC is legit, it, it's trash. <laughs> I haven't packed anything. I'll go ahead and just do one right now to show you guys. And if I pack Ronaldo, that would be freaking sick. But I don't get anything from this SBC, man. I really don't get anything from this SBC. I've gotten a couple. I got a Witzel. I got a Jorginho. And, I mean, I think the Witzel was my best pull. I got a Batman as well. But this uh, this wants to watch upgrade SBC is, like, rigged bad. Um, I would definitely recommend uh, not doing it just because it is basically a scam. Um, just try a couple. I'm sure a lot of you have already tried a couple, but from from then on, I would not try uh, any more any more than that. Just because it's ridiculous on some of the uh, SBC, you know, the the pack luck from some of these SBCs is just uh, it's just utter atrocious, you know. All right, let's get a few rares in here, and we will be good to go for this SBC, and we'll have, we'll have that to open up um, over in the packs section just for fun. But I want to continue talking about the rest of the market and some things that I do see um, pertaining to um, some SBC items. That's what I want to talk about stuff today. SBC items, let me get the chem for this. 51, boom, there we go. All right, we have an anyone swatch pack. Now I'm going to get R Ronaldo as I'm recording. Just watch, just watch, boys. It's going to happen. But with these footies items in foot swap deals, a lot of people are going to be going for those footies items. Um, and our first release of a footies winner card, which is probably going to be Lozano, right? You know, we're assuming that Lozano won that first vote. It seems to be that there's a um, a two-day lag time. So, like, Lozano came out on Wednesday. This player pick SBC where you chose your card came out on Wednesday. And his SBC is going to come out on Friday. Now, I voted for Renato Sanchez. Hopefully, you guys did as well. I think that card's going to be sick, but either it's Fred or Renato Sanchez. Probably Fred's going to win. That SBC will come out on Sunday. So we have like a two-day lag time between when the, the voting player pick is out and when that SBC will come out. So thinking of Lozano coming today, I think a lot of people are going to want to try to use Lozano because, I mean, he's got that headliner card already in the game. I want to take a look at this. I just... Literally typed in headliner into uh, Footbin. We're not going to do that again. We're going to go Lozano. The Mr. Can I can I get Lozano to pop here? There we go. Hervin Lozano. He's got an 86 rated headliner. So you can imagine what this footies card is going to look like. He's going to have 99 pace. He's probably going to have 90 shooting. Close to 90 uh, passing. 90 plus 
dribbling an 80 physical. It's going to be a fun card and a lot of people are going to use it. I'm looking at a couple of links here. Now, obviously, a lot of people are already onto a lot of this stuff. As you maybe saw in my club, I have a Dumfries, bought it at 310,000 coins on Friday or on Wednesday when I saw Lozano come out. I think that card um, could rise up in price a decent bit. And also, I don't know about Van Persie since he's not on the same team as Lozano, but I do think you could see some people putting together some type of situation with the Van Persie to link with Lozano, get a red, get a green link with Dumfries, and then maybe a De Young and De Ligt. So you're, you might see a little bit of Air Divisi stuff rising in the next couple of days, as well as uh, Luis Hernandez. I've been watching this card this weekend, 630k. He was a little bit lower than that. Honestly, this card has dropped a ton. 531 yesterday, man. Crazy, crazy low price for some of these icons. 531k is very, very low for Luis Hernandez. And I think he's going to have some hype built up because regardless of whether this Lozano card comes out as a as a striker or as a right wing, you'll be able to link Luis Hernandez to him. So just kind of watch out for that. There's going to be some people that are going to want to do uh, some linking with that card. One other thing that I want to talk about, and I've mentioned this before, is just looking at the cheapest players by rating, uh, to be honest, and looking at some of this stuff. Some of these 86s, the 87s and up are still very cheap because of the special cards pushing their prices down. Now again, I'm not recommending you invest in some of those special cards. I'm thinking you throw one in the club, like uh, like the the version of UCL Live Tagliafico, who's like very, very cheap for an 87 rated. Just pick one up and throw it in the club because that card is in packs for another week and a half, basically. The, the, the pack, best of packs, go for every two weeks. So... Um, just keep a look on some of these high rated golds as we get more SPCs you're going to see them continue to rise and probably this is what I'm seeing with the rest of the market I'm seeing a lot of other stuff start to kind of go go down in price I think people are really buying into this promo as we have seen people do all year um, so after the weekend league you might see some prices go down Neymar is at 5.3 I think this Mbappe is down a little bit so some stuff is kind of down just a little bit not a crazy amount but it's just kind of lingering low. I don't think we're going to see like a huge market crash or anything like that. And I don't think you guys should be worried about, you know, missing out on coins. Uh, but for some of you guys that have budgets that are like maybe a million coin budget, some of these players that have been put into packs, and I just keep thinking about this um, because I know not everybody has millions upon millions of coins that I've been used to throughout the entire year. But let's say you've been going for foot birthday Marcelo. You've been wanting him in your team for a long time. And uh, he just got put back into packs, and his price has dropped like 130k. He's like 200 something k. So it looks like a little bit inflated right now. But he was like three, you know, he was way up, and now he's down a lot. A lot of these flip birthday cards are like that. You're just saving a bunch of money building your team and putting those cards in your team. So enjoy that. Sorry for the fireworks in the background. That is gonna be really loud. All right, the fireworks stop. We're back. But a lot of those cards prices have dropped. So if you're looking to shop for a team. Um, I know these cards are in packs again for like two weeks. The, pa the cards are in packs right now, like the Road to the Finals, the Foot Birthdays, Man of the Matches and stuff. They're in packs for a little while, but it's helping out a lot of people who wanted to have those cards uh, in their team. So that's kind of what, what I wanted to cover today for the footy stuff. Um, I would expect to see more SBCs tomorrow, hopefully some type of repeatable SBC. I say tomorrow, actually on Friday is what I mean. Today, whenever you're watching this video, I hope on Friday that we do get an SBC. And this pack is a walkout, the ones to watch pack that, oh, pack that I wanted to uh, share with you guys. Who is this? Um, all right, 85 rated Murata. Not too bad. As a decent pack pull, 85 rated ones to watch. So, He's probably not going to get rinsed into an SBC, uh, or he is going to get rinsed. He's probably not going to go back into one to watch. But I don't think that SBC is entirely worth it. Until then, um, you know, if you're trading on a low budget, a lot of people are doing league SBCs to get packs right now. Everybody is just scrambling to get packs. Um, and that is kind of the name of the game right now, and I understand why. There's so many things in packs. You can pack a discard um you know, man of the match card from a 5k pack and that card disc, disc, or that card quick sells for like 10,000 coins. So you just made your money back 
on a very, very, very cheap pack. So um, the market right now is kind of all over the place, but I wanted to kind of talk about the footies and the foot swap stuff for, with you guys today. I wanted to talk about um, some of the rest of the market that is going on. And of course, um, hopefully the fact that we're going to get some repeatable SBCs um, this weekend. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.